Yeah, I mean, not everywhere, but across the board, uh, America's crime rate is at a 50-year low. And I think one of the reasons that we are so afraid is that when today's parents were growing up, uh, the crime rate was it peaked in 93. So it was going up, 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 up for, from the 60s to the 90s. But then it fell. And, and it, it didn't fall on law and order. It didn't fall on the nightly news. But it fell in real life. And it's back to the rate of, uh, I've seen 67 and I've seen 63. And people sometimes say, oh, it's down because we're helicoptering our children. We're keeping them so safe. But it's down against adults. <laughs> it's down against, you know, uh, murder, uh, rape, burglary, arson, um, violent crime is uh, muggings. They're, it's just down. And it's hard to believe because you can turn on the TV at any moment. And always, if you turn on TV anymore, I sound so ancient. Um, if you look at anything, uh, any kind of media, it always looks very scary. But that's once again, going back to because the scary stuff will get you to watch. And that's the job of the media is to get your eyeballs as many as possible so that they can sell them to an advertiser. And so you come up with whatever is the most compelling and that's always scary. Yeah, you talked about how um, the child abductions, uh, I can't remember the exact percentage, but you said it was something like 0.0001% of your like child that. being abducted. Right, the, the, the flip side of that is that um, if for some reason you wanted your child to be kidnapped, um, and I think and held overnight by a stranger, how long would you have to keep them outside unsupervised for this to be statistically likely to happen? It's sort of like how many tickets do you have to buy for Powerball? And the answer is, do you know what the answer is? You, it was in the book, but I forget. It was. It's, uh, yeah. For some reason I had two different numbers um, from the first version of the sex version, but it was uh, 750,000 years. So, you know. After the first 100,000 years, not really a cute little kid anymore. So it's just, it's mind-bogglingly low. But once again, you go to the Google part of your mind and it says, but I can name seven, you know? And that's because those are the stories that we keep hearing. Uh, sometimes people ask me, like, what about Aton? And Aton was a kid who was kidnapped in 1979 here in New York City. And it's like, I, ca I calculated that too. There's been 140 million people born uh, children since Aton, and they don't matter. <laughs> you know, the odds, it's people, it's like that lady this morning who told the, the man who came to my lecture who said he'd let his kid out of his sight. She, she said, well, you don't love your kid as much as I do. That's not true. He has a grip on reality. <laughs> That's what he does. And you also said, uh, you know, in this, at least in America, I don't know about the rest of the world, but come Halloween time, I know it's been... Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> how, would, how would I describe it? I, I think that this is a holiday that has now gives parents a lot of anxiety and they, they you know, they ha they check their candy right, to make right, sure right. none of it's poisoned. And you said, at, at least at the time that you wrote your book, I don't know if this has changed, but you said at so, that it's time, <laughs> no, there has never been a case of children being poisoned by Halloween candy. Oh, wait, no, that's not quite true. It's there's never been a case of children poisoned um, by a stranger's Halloween candy. There was a kid who was poisoned um, by strychnine in his pixie stick, uh, but his father had just taken out an insurance policy on him. In fact, three insurance policies on him. And I'm sure the father thought, so many kids are being poisoned tonight, what's one more? Um, but in fact, it was the only one ever, and it was quickly, he was quickly discovered and electrocuted in Texas. And that's the only case. Another kid once got into his uncle's heroin and died of an overdose, and the, the family said that he'd been poisoned by a stranger's candy. But in fact, it was his uncle's heroin. That's it. Wow. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for watching the episode. If you're interested in contributing to the conversation and supporting the show, there's two easy things you can do. One, click subscribe. And two, visit our Patreon page where you get exclusive access to the Exploring Minds community.